Hey guys, welcome to the Uncertified Pilot episode 49, at least a re-attempt to um, get to San Bernardino because last time I messed up quite a lot. Um, I thought I actually approached San Bernardino, but I landed at some closed airport called Rialto, apparently. Um, and, and here we are. Uh, so I still need to finish my uh, original flight uh, from uh, Mojave Airport to San Bernardino. Uh, and I'd like to do that again by night because uh, it uh, was very apparent that my navigation skills were quite off. Also my ATC, uh, by the way, um, because I should actually just have asked um, uh, ATC or the controller to give me a vector to San Bernardino, especially because I was aware or doubting or... Um, uh, I was aware of, of being in trouble there, um, getting to uh, to San Bernardino while I actually was going to Rialto. Um, but anyhow, so at night um, today I will uh, try to make a very, very small hop from um, Rialto where we are right here. As you can see, no uh, runways or any, um, um, any kind of depictions here. Um, but we're going to make a very, I guess, the shortest flight ever here in my uh, on my channel from Rialto to San Bernardino, and hopefully I will succeed um, inbound there uh, to that Delta class uh, airspace to finish that original flight. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the Uncertified Pilot. I'm Tim, and this is my flight simulator. All right. Um, hey, Alex, welcome aboard. Um, so, um, yeah, guys, it's going to be um, a, a very, very small flight. Um, I looked at the METAR here of San Bernardino and it showed uh, pretty much VMC. Let me have a closer look still. Uh, METAR. Yeah, so 10 statute miles of visibility, sky is clear, uh, winds are calm. So this is perfect, uh, perfect flying time. Um, and because it's such a short hop, uh, we don't need to uh, look into any forecast. We can zoom out and we can see that the entire area here of LA is um, covered with um, those green uh, flight category uh, bubbles, um, suggesting or indicating that uh, we pretty much got uh, a very good flying weather here uh, in the area. So um, that's good. Uh, in terms of flight planning, uh, what I thought, like, um, I just used the same kind of idea or strategy that I um, plan to follow on to, uh, follow through in the previous episode, which was to get to that highway here, um, over there, a big intersection. Um, so what I did was following the highway, that was what I did in the previous episode, all the way up to this intersection, and then um, I should have flown just inbound to um, San Bernardino. Um, and so I thought, well, with this flight from Rialto, I just fly to the highway again, stay north of it, and then fly to that intersection again, spot it from the air, and then get inbound just as I initially planned to do. Um, I think it's it's I think it's relevant to uh, just briefly review the previous flight and what went wrong, at least in my review, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I've only uh, I I almost flown into a mountain, which was the first big mistake, um, and just a, such a faint. Uh, stupid um, um, uh, mess up there uh, of, of of just thinking that my radial should be on one two zero while it was actually should should have been at one zero four or one zero five something like that. So I was going southbound much more than I planned to do, and so I um, almost flown um, into uh, or almost well very very near hit there uh, of this mountain uh, of these mountains. Um, so I was going much more. Uh, uh, south than I uh, would like to uh, uh, fly, as you can see here at the Victor Airway uh, 104. That was uh, that was my planned heading, um, but somehow I just uh, stick to 120, and so uh, yeah, that was a big mistake. And the second one, obviously, was when I approached San Bernardino here from this uh, highway. Um, the control tower uh, said, hey Tim, um, the airport should be at your one o'clock. And I didn't quite catch that uh, also in the review of the video uh, of that flight. Um, and so I was still looking. And I also expected to see San Bernardino from such a short distance here. Uh, and I, I couldn't see any bleeping or airport lights just in front of me. So um, 
I was looking around and then spotted another airport. Well, I wasn't aware here on the sectional that this symbol means that this is a closed airport. And in Flight Sim, obviously, there is no distinction between closed or open airports. So that airport, Rialto, where we're currently at, is implemented, exists virtually here uh, in Flight Sim. And so a lot of blinking and lights and runway lights um, were visible here when I was approaching this intersection. And so I thought, oh, perhaps I'm uh, north of the airport. Um, and so then I reported in uh, to approach control uh, because we were on flight following. Hey, I see the airport on my three o'clock. And I guess that should have um, made... Um, uh, that should have triggered the controller at the time I guess that I was seeing a different airport or the wrong airport but still I got clearance to go inbound and um, I got inbound into a left or a, I don't know I don't know why hard a left or a right uh, hey Xeon welcome on board um, a left or a right base um, approach and that also didn't um, quite fit my uh, my arrival there um, so at that point, I, I already started to become aware of, hey, I don't know exactly where I am. And at that point, rather than just blaming my navigation skills, which is true, to be honest, uh, that I should have um, uh, developed uh, much better navigation skills, even though night flying here via VFR without a GPS is very, very challenging, I can assure you. Uh, but still, navigation is something that I should, uh, should work on. Um, I should have just... Um, said to the controller, hey, uh, I'm um, messing around here. Could you give me a vector to uh, to San Bernardino? And at that point, uh, I would just have received a, a simple heading from the ATC controller, and uh, I could, could have corrected my mistake, which I didn't. And that was the biggest mistake. I just continued my flight and landed anyway. Um, so that was a very, very va valuable and educational lesson, though. Um, and it happens, actually, in the real world as well, uh, landing on a, on a wrong airport. Um, but I, I guess the, it's, it's more, um, um, I think that the, the, the big, uh, again, the big lesson there wasn't really that much of navigation. It was just listening to ADC. I should have just followed on on that one uh, o'clock heading. And um, when I got lost, I just should have just be honest, admitted my mistake or my trouble and saying, hey, uh, could you give me a vector? Um, which I didn't. Um Alrighty, so in this case, I would like to reattempt. Hey, Harry, thank you for hosting, man. Thanks. Um, I'd like to um, give this a second try. So, um, again, Rialto um, departing here. Just I have no idea what the layout is of the airport, so I will just uh, have a look here and, and pick a runway. Um, better be, uh, I think there's a runway here that goes to the um, uh, to the east as well. It's, it has the same, I think it has the same layout of a San Bernardino, also a 24 and a 06, which also added to the confusion, I guess, when I was approaching Rialto, mistaking that for um, San Bernardino. So a 06 departure would it be from Rialto, and um, then I would fly north of this highway um, and then uh, check into San Bernardino. First, ATIS, uh, which we can already do here on the ground, I think. Um, so we got the weather information and then we fly in modo San Bernardino and land and that's it. So it's going to be a very short flight today just to get to San Bernardino because I'm preparing to get my CAT 7 rating, right? Um, and to be honest, um, I think I, I, I'm going to do an additional flight just doing some traffic pattern just to get into shape again and get some trust or confidence there uh, to keep on doing my, um, uh, my check rides on, on Pilot Edge. So um, that's going to be the flight, very simple. No radio navigation, I guess just visual referencing. Um, and um, well, what, what we could do perhaps, um, just to practice again, uh, and also to, just to make sure, um, let me see, Palm Springs is too far away, I guess the VOR, but we, are, we could use a VOR um, to... Um, to make sure, just as an additional measure to make sure that we're flying in, but I guess it's just a small hub. It is, it's not really that necessary, but still, let me see. Well, we could pick Palmdale. It just seems so far away, and, and especially because it's here uh, obstructed by uh, by these mountains, I don't think we uh, don't want to run a risk that we cannot catch it, that we don't um, get a signal from that VOR. So I'm looking for something here in the LA area that we can use, perhaps. Um, but I think it's a little bit too much, I guess, to to use that as an additional aid here. We could use Paradise VOR uh, and fly to the north, and then we can see when the radial catches in on this particular heading to Niner. Um, we know that we uh, should have been 
uh, on top of that uh, highway intersection. Uh, but I think, especially because the weather is, is this good, we've got VMC, clear skies, no visibility issues, we should be able to spot um, that highway uh, uh, anyway. And again, we can just sign into San Bernardino and ask uh, with a tower and ask for a vector if we got lost uh, a second time. Um, okay, so that's in terms of flight planning. Well, uh, in terms of fuel, we are good, I guess. Uh, diversions also doesn't seem to uh, apply here with such a short uh, flight. Uh, runway length, you already checked it with San Bernardino, a very, very long uh, uh, runway. And um, in terms of weight and balance, nothing that we need to concern with, uh, we need to be concerned with there, and whether we just take that as it is because it's such a local uh, flight. Um, so um, what we're going to do is uh, go straight towards resetting our cabin. Um, so here we are in the dark again at Rialto. Um, looks like a very cute airport though, also uh, noticed that in the previous episode. Um, but um, yeah, I think we need to go, I can see some threshold lights over there. I just have to check the compass very soon. I, we're going to go to zero 06, I guess, because then we're going to go to the east, uh, the direction that we need to go to. Okay, um, first off, uh, what I'm going to do is remove the uh, pitot tube cover and also the wheel chocks. And let's first check the lights here. Uh, batteries on. Uh, landing light on, seems to work, taxi lights seem to work, um, strobe lights on, nav lights on, and the pedo heat on. Um, so let's go outside and have a look if that stuff is actually working. Um, position light, strobe lights are working on the other side as well, and the position light and the beacon light, good. Oh, I should just, just check the Stall warning and the um, uh, pitot tube. There it is. It's hot. Okay. So pitot heat off, strobe off, and well, we could keep our nav lights on, I guess, because we're at night here. Okay. Uh, we turn on our avionics. Make sure that those are working. Uh, they are. Um, let's move on. Flaps down. And they go down. Go down in sync. Um, and what I could also just do, give me uh, some additional lights. Um, or can I do that with my panel here? Yes. Helps. Um, our uh, down and we can um, check here the transponder. Let's see if it's already on v, um, VFR. It is. Um, all right, this is all good. We're going to set that later. Um, San Luis Tower, shader. Skyhawk, seven two seven four hotel. Hold on, shader panel seem to work just fine. Let me just tune the frequencies here so we don't Intercept. get disrupted or uh, distracted here. Um, okay, and uh, we move on. Enough fuel uh, time. Well, we're gonna need, we're not gonna use time elapsed time here in our, in our flight uh, because it's such a short hop. Circuit breakers, and um, and indeed our stuff is here on. Okay, cool. So avionics off and batteries. We could leave those. Um, well, we're going to do an exterior walk around anyway. Okay, so batteries off. Let's do a exterior walk around. Again, pitot tube. Let's pretend it's unobstructed. Baggage door. It is closed. Tie down is removed. Let's have a look here. Everything seems to be connected just fine. Good is good is good. Wiggle of the trim tab. Alrighty. Flaps. There's a wiggle. Connected. Ailerons are fine. Tie down is removed. Wear and tear. None. Sump. No contamination. Fuel again confirmed. Oil, enough gallons. 
a quartz I should say um, and in, uh, in good color sample the engine blue no contamination prop not damaged cool intakes clear um, static port is clear and now gallons confirmed no contamination in good color wear and tear is good Tynon is removed fuel vent is clear wingtip ailerons are looking good wiggle of the flaps here looks good and the control arm seems to be in place as well okay let's then do a flight control test to the right that one goes down that one goes up other side goes down and that one goes up Ele elevators I can barely see it oh my control wheel lock just uh, popped on um, there we go up thank you for following Joe thanks um, yep trim wheel yep is active and rudder seems to work as well awesome um, let me see our parking brakes are still on okay so um it completed our exterior walk around and no need to uh, visit the maintenance hangar uh, we are ready to go and um, start our um, engine so let me see first off seat belts all right door Closed, open a window. Okay, uh, batteries on and the lights turn on. All right, so um, what we're gonna do, guys, is once more, short flight from Rialto, closed airport, shame. Um, and we're gonna go to San Bernardino, um, Bernardino, and we're gonna check in with ADIS uh, once we have started our engine. Uh, very simple flight north of the highway and then straight into San Bernardino. I hope I will succeed this time, even though it's such a short hop. Um, flying at night is pretty hard, uh, at least in my experience. So we're gonna see. Um, and no other concerns that we have uh, during our arrival here. Um, so very, very simple. Okay. Um, that's that. So, uh, let me see. Throttle in. Uh, fuel pump on. One, two, three. Cut off. Throttle is in. Park and brakes are on. Fuel tanks is set to both. And no one is in the prop, near the prop area. That's good. Let me reset my viewpoint here. Okay, so um, clear prop. Mixture full in, 1200. Oil pressure is coming up. Generator on, avionics on, flaps up. Reset our mixture for ground operations. Leaning, 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 there it is. And reset to 1000. Good. Transponder on, even though this is not a towered airport. It's good to be on radar, and we need our virtual headphones. Much better. Okay, uh, nav lights are on, and beacon is on. That's good enough. Um, all right, so let's listen to the ADIS of San Bernardino. Uh, the just 124.175. It's still set. Kilo, Sierra, Bravo, Delta, automated weather observation. Perfect weather. Dew point minus one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero niner. Kilo. It's also good. Bravo Delta. Automated weather observation. Zero eight zero eight Zulu. All right. Um, so we got automated weather ups, um, uh, information, so we don't have any um, weather code. So no Bravo or Charlie or Delta. So that's uh, something that we um, uh, discovered in the previous slide as well. So what I'm going to do. Um, today um, is just check in with San Bernardino and say we've got the weather and hoping uh, that that is uh, enough for them to uh, let us in into that uh, Delta um, class airspace 
Um, okay. Very good. Engine is still warming up. Uh, not in the green yet, but we can start our taxi anyhow. Uh, what we're going to do is um, sync our um, heading indicator here. And it is synced, so that's good. And I also like to know the frequencies that we're going to set uh, or going to tune into uh, when we depart uh, already. So that's going to be um, the Tower of San Bernardino, which is 119.45. That's now set. And what we need is ground, 1 to 1.8. Right. Hmm, that was a bad transmission. Hmm, is that me? Let me make sure Pilot Edge Network or my client is working because that was a very disrupted uh, broken transmission. Otherwise, I just uh, close down the client and restart Pilot Edge once more. Engine is warming up. Pattern altitude at San Bernardino is 1900, so 2000. So that's a 700 feet, yeah, and the elevation is at uh, 1200. So that means that the uh, traffic pattern there is a, is, is a bit lower than the 1000 feet AGL. Still no transmission just yet. So what we can do is just taxi to the runway any, uh, anyway. And uh, once we're there, we can also just do a radio check just to make sure that the radios are okay. Otherwise, I will restart uh, uh, the Pilot Edge uh, client. Okay, so once more, a 06 is going to be our departure runway. Um, so that means that we need to look for a runway that starts somewhere from that side. that side yeah i guess behind these hangars so we'll just taxi to this bit and then i'm hoping that we can see uh, spot that beginning uh, of the runway let's have a look okay parking brakes removed brake test works there we go in the green good wings are clear nice jet here to the right okay now I have to, let's have a look it's gonna be that runway still I think so zero six yeah and there's a runway over there. Yeah, I would take that bet. Let's make it turn here to the left. Or shouldn't we? I don't think so. I shouldn't make it turn around here. Oh no. It will lead us to the right runway. It seems to be a little bit off. I. Uh, I would say a lot of distance or a lot of space between the runway and this taxiway. Well, let's have a look. Anyway, our slip indicator works, turn indicator works, everything is stable. Good. Six confirmed. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so what we're going to do is depart. 06. Going a little bit more north. Stick around 2000 feet, so we're already at traffic pattern altitude. Go to that intersection of that highway. Check in to San Bernardino. And we're going to enter that, uh, that pattern and land. Kleistad, welcome! Good luck in finding the airport. I missed. I brought light last week, so I know the feeling. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, still need to learn some. But that's part of the fun. Okay, here we are. A little bit more power here. I'm going to do a power check. Near the threshold line over there. Six is confirmed. Now we should just... Um, I mean, there's no frequency here. I w perhaps we could use some CETA frequency, old CETA frequency, but obviously this uh, airport doesn't have any. We can see some mountains there. I don't know if you guys can see here, uh, but I can see some mountain or hills here to the, to the north, which confirms with our map. Um, hoping that uh, once we take off, we can uh, spot the, um, the highway can see here so when we take off like in this direction uh, we should just make a left turn here um, and, and see the first uh, highway here very near to us and uh, then the second one and eventually our reference point is going to be uh, this particular spot that uh, intersection so uh, then we check in and say here we're uh, northwest of the airport at uh, 2000 uh, with the weather inbound for a full stop frequencies are already uh, set um, so it's going to be relatively easy, I expect. Um, Okie doke. First, a power check. Engine is warm. Make sure full in. 1800. Everything is stable. Pressure. No non-shader messages. Uh, left mag is good. Back to both. Right one is good. Back to both. Uh, landing lights on. There is a charge on the battery. Good. Back to idle. No enunciator messages still. Oil pressure is still good. Perfect. Back to a thousand. Good out. Landing lights on. Taxi lights off. Strobe lights on. Uh, transponder is set. Frequencies are set. Yeah. Departure. Left turn. Um, to the north. Highway. Inbound. And we already have the weather. Okay, cool. But uh, one thing that I would like to check is the Pilot Edge um, uh, network. So let's just do a plain radio check just to make sure that everything is working. But because the radio transmission, the last one that I heard was a little bit broken. Um, what should I say? I just should uh, go to San Bernardino, I guess. Yeah. San Bernardino Tower, Skype Papa Del Tango, Mike with a radio check. Perhaps the controller is now looking for me on San Bernardino, where I am not present. Also, I'm not hearing anything also during our taxi, which is also a bit off. Let's make sure that our frequencies are set. 119.45. Yep, that confirms with the sectional. I'm just going to restart. Let me see. Pilot Edge, where is it? Uh, whoop. Well, it should be running. Let's do it another time. San Bernardino Tower, Skyhawk, Popotel, Tango, and Mike with a radio check. Mm-mm-mm. No, that seems to be off. I should have heard something. Close. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, hello, does it close? Seems like Pilot Edge client is hanging. Oh. Let me just go like this. Uh, Pilot Edge is not responding. Close. Okay. Pilot Edge. Reopen. Start. Connect. Connect. Connected. 1-8-6-8-A Joshua approach. Good afternoon. The Palmdale altimeter. That sounds much better. There we are. Just Alex, do you prefer to fly at night or daytime? At daytime. <laughs> but this is good. Uh, this is good practice. Okay, so uh, it was too part of that. From you're looking for the coastal route, correct? Klein here. So this is okay. Three, two, one, six. Roger. Remain outside the Los Angeles Bravo airspace. Report established on the Los Angeles three two three. Seems like a new controller. Five thousand five hundred. Okay, but this is okay. Um, got our. Checks done. Oil is in the green. Mixture's full in. Uh, let's go. Nine six, Roger, and the LA altimeter three zero zero seven. We know it's close. Some traffic there nearby. Need to be very careful here because it's not a controlled departure. So that is traffic that is perhaps a concern to us when we depart here. Palm Springs Tower, November 921 off of Lima is 14 northeast, inbound 5,000 feet. There we go. A little bit more power here. Everything is in the green. 921 off of Lima. Okay. Palm Springs Tower, I see aircraft. Air. 921 off craft Lima there is, is leaving us. Minutes. Good. All right, let's go. Aligning with the runway, full power. Second attempt to San Bernardino. Airspeed is alive, oh, everything's in the green. Roger, I didn't. 40. I did 50. And 60. Rotate. There we go. Number 91 Alpha Lima, thanks. Enter a left base, runway 31 left, the altimeter 3014. Left base 31 So, highway should be to the left of us, right? San Marino Tower, uh, Skyhawk, San Francisco, clear runway 30. A little bit nose down trim Delta. here. Need to F2, watch uh, my parking. airspeed. So I guess this is the uh, the big highway. For 7274, tell you can taxi Alpha into the ramp. Remain this frequency. We'll see you later. We don't have any Charlie taxi airspace on top of us. For, uh, the airplane there is turning down. Got some traffic here inbound, I think. It's now under flying. <laughs> wow, that drone traffic. Okay. So here we are. There's a highway. Good. Staying up north. Not going too high, but going a little bit more higher than 2000 because otherwise I'm very near to the ground. Keep my landing lights on. Here it goes the highway. And there I can see an airport already. And here I can see a lot of intersections. And here I can see a highway going through the valley. Good. Let's go to 3000 here. And Palm Springs Tower 925, you said left base, 31 left, is that correct? Uh, Alright, this is left, this is all the intersection stuff, so yeah, that's Bernardino. Good. Three thousand. There we are. So many hills in front of us. Allow the airspeed to increase a bit. So Good afternoon, LA Altimeter three zero zero seven. Yeah, that should be the runway. Okay, cool. All right, 3,000. Tower is set. Let's make a right turn. And let's check in. Number 921 Alpha Lima, runway 31 left. Clear to land, wind variable at 5. There's San Bernardino. 31 left, clear to land, 921 Alpha Lima. 
San Bernardino Traffic uh, Tower, uh, Skyhawk Papa Del Tango and your mic on 3,000 feet, uh, 5 miles northwest of the airport uh, with the weather inbound for a full stop. Papa Hotel Tango India, Mike, San Bernardino Tower, good evening, enter a good afternoon, I guess, inner left base, runway 6, altimeter 3009. Left base for runway 6 for Papa Teltonia, Mike. Zero 06, left base. All right, so we got a runway going like this. You can see the runway lights there. So zero 06 is like that direction, right? So left base, that's going to be boom, boom. That's left downwind, and this is left base. So this is the leg that we're going to fly. Now we got instructions to go to left base, not a clear to land yet, so it's good even though the uh, controller didn't explicitly instruct us to report a three mile left base, for example, uh, for zero 06. We should report our position once we are at left base because we still need that uh, clearance, right? Perhaps the controller is already giving us that clearance, but we'll have to see. Papa Lima, San Luis Ground, good evening. I caught everything there except where are you parked? Where are you located on the field? Transient parking. Number five five Papa Lima, thank you. Good luck on the Cat Four or my two nine attack. Well, the airport should have been visible last time. Taxi two nine zero Alpha five five Papa Lima. But it's not that much f flashy, I, I guess. Okay. One notch of flaps here. Still some way to go, too slow. Come on, Tim. Papa Hotel Tango India Mike, runway six, clear to land, wind is calm. Clear to land, runway six for Papa Hotel Tango India Mike. Falcon 921 Alpha Lima, where do you park? Uh, general aviation ramp, please. All right, so we already received that clearance. As expected. Golf whiskey into the Still a bit too high, not on traffic pattern altitude yet, but mm. need to go nose down here, pushing on that yoke unnecessary. There we go. Not a really long runway, by the way. Let's put in an additional notch of flaps. Good. Come on, a little bit more nose down here because my airspeed is getting pretty slow. 10688 contact, so Cal approach 134.2. Interesting that this uh, runway doesn't have a Papi or Vasi light. You would expect. Uh, to have it, I guess. I mean, there's another airport there in the distance that does have one. No other traffic here. Still, we got are clear to land, but there's no other traffic here on the final. Good afternoon. Left downwind departure is approved. Wind is calm. Runway two nine are clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff. Left downwind departure. Number five five five. Ah, we do have poppy lights, but they are visible only from this side, I guess. Two whites, yeah, we need to sync. So that's not 10688, so Cal, chill again. The Whiteman altimeter 3008. All right, that final approach that I was planned to fly, expected to fly in the previous episode. Here we go. Fully lit up. Flaps down, mixture is full. General turn here. No one to the right, or at least on final. Still, we need to drop down because we still have two whites. There we go. All right, final.
final 06 confirms with our heading indicator. Where are we going to taxi soon? I think this is the where the big airplanes are. Perhaps we should fly a little bit down the runway and la uh, park over there. I think we discussed it in the previous episode, but I don't remember. So that means we can ignore the, uh, the Peppy Light Ride and just extend our landing here. Saves, um, saves us some taxiing. Airspeed is alright. Trim is alright. I mean, I think there are hangars over there. I don't know if I'm mistaken. But there are three, two, one, under six. So, Cal approach. Good afternoon, John Wayne altimeter. Three no one is on the zero. on in the traffic pattern, so I can just take my time here. Around 60, good. Very slow. There we go, ballooning a bit. Let's see. All right. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Not bad, good. Just gonna give it a little bit more power here. Around a thousand RPM, flaps up, just to keep uh, the roll going. And there we are, finally at San Bernardino, guys. There comes the next taxi. Intersection here. Already leaning a bit for ground. Alpha 2. Alrighty, Alpha 2. Get our butt beyond that uh, threshold line, if there is any. Yep, here it was. Alright. Alpha 2. There we are, reset. Okay, uh, we leaned. Um, so Tango India, Mike, where are you parking today? Uh, we'd like to park just in front of us here, here at the uh, northeast ramp, if that's possible. Top Hotel Tango India Mike, certainly taxi Alpha to the ramp, you can remain on this frequency. Uh, via Alpha to the ramp and remain on this frequency, thanks, Papa Hotel Tango Mike. Cool, proactive controller, like this one. Uh, Alright, landing lights off, strobe lights off, taxi lights off, nav lights remain on because it is at night. No other traffic here, no. And here we are. No other Cessnas or other props. I guess. No. Air three, two, one, under six. You're now clear of the Los Angeles Bravo airspace via Fair Descent. But I guess when we're going to depart um, here from two four um, in the next flight, we're very nearby. It saves up some taxi time. Some fuel stations. Two one under six. Report over Huntington Beach Pier. Mm, I guess we're just gonna park over here. Okay, one hundred and eighty. Great turn. Whoop. A little bit more power here. Differential braking. Whoop. Something like this. Good. Um. All right. D then. So we were. Uh, disappear from radar. That's good. Uh, avionics off and cut off. And there's the prop. And back to both. Park and brake sets. Let's now also turn down the lights here. 
there we go, and also the panel lights are off, um, batteries are off, taxi lights off, nav lights off, beacon remains on, door, let's open the door, good, uh, control wheel lock is set, and we should also set our tanks here to the right or either to the left to prevent that cross feeding. Okay, Seat belts removed. And oh, here like we are. Um, let's just very quickly. Nine two one Alpha Lima Palm Springs clearance on request. Am I? Change the frequencies. Boom. Uh, whoop. So there we go. There we go. Okay. So um, yeah, guys, a very very uh, very short hop. Um, uh, not that usual, I guess, here on the channel, but uh, I think it was quite uh, relevant. Oh, my iPad is also, uh, my flight also uh, snapped out of the uh, connection. Weird, my computer has some trouble, I guess, or my Wi-Fi connection, it seems. Well, anyway, uh, a very short um, hop here from uh, Rialto to San Bernardino. Um, just a second attempt to get to, to, to San Bernardino. And, then, and as I noticed here on, on this slide, um, San Bernardino was quite visible. I expected to be a, there, there would be a much more brighter poppy light or tower light or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess not. Uh, so in this time I was a little bit more prepared obviously to get to San Bernardino. So this was, this was quite basic. I did notice some mess ups though in terms of my airspeed while I was departing. Uh, it was a little bit too slow also with the uh, approach to San Bernardino. Um, could have been a little bit more smooth I guess. Um, uh, but uh, uh, overall, it was it was okay. I I, I feel still feel the need for doing an additional traffic pattern flying here just to get a, a real a little bit more sense of confidence in flying, um, and uh, get into shape before I'm going to do my Cat Seven uh, rating uh, because that's going to be a fly from here all the way to I don't know uh, to the uh, to the west though. I know it's not not a very long flight. Uh, it's going to be. Let me sneak here. Uh, Bracket or El Monte? I think it's El Monte uh, Airport. So um, that's not a. And then we're going to cross that Charlie Airspace Ontario in between. It's going to be interesting. So uh, I like to be in shape then and have a, a full confidence of my of my flight skills before I'm going to attempt that uh, crossing, um, because I think I need to rely on those skills uh, pretty uh, pretty intensively during that flight. Okay. Um, so guys, a very short hop. Um, um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, a very small night flight. The next time is going to be by day, I promise. Going to uh, enjoy the view here of the LA area because I haven't seen, to be honest, I didn't have any time uh, yet to, to uh, enjoy the LA downtown area with Orbex's sou Southern California uh, scenery with the um, uh, open LC uh, scenery of Orbex. So I'm really, really excited actually to see LA by day. So we're going to do that uh, in the next flight. But then I'm just going to do a, a few traffic patterns just to brush off my uh, my flight skills again and get some more confidence going. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for, uh, for watching. Thank you for following and uh, seeing you uh, very, very soon with the next episode. Welcome to the Uncertified Pilot. I'm Tim, and this is my flight simulator.